ITA for telling my mom's best friend that not everyone is like her. Trigger warning, mention of child abuse. Hello everyone, I desperately need advice. I, 27F, went out to dinner with my daughter, 6F, my mother, 50F, and her best friend, 51F. It was a treat of my mom's best friend, let's call her Yolanda. They have been friends for 20 plus years, so basically I've known her my whole life. Therefore, she has also met my daughter plenty of times. My daughter is a very cheerful child, and besides the normal child but throwing in the wind moments, she listens really well. Ever since she was small, I'd practice public outings with her. We have a cat, who is usually very uninterested in anything except for loud noises, etc. So I came up with a little game in which I would dress up the table nicely, put our food on our fancy plates, we'd dress up ourselves too, and then we'd eat without startling our cat. Which basically meant, no screaming or overly loud talking, no running, and when we spill food we'd have to clean it up quickly so the cat wouldn't get to it. This technique has worked really well for taking my daughter out in public, and she has rarely ever made a scene. As we are sitting in the restaurant eating, my daughter is talking to my mom. Yolanda bends over to me and says, your daughter is very calm. She is not even running or screaming. How did you teach her that? Do you hit her? I was off course taken aback. It took me a few moments to respond, but when I did I explained how I got her to behave in public. Yolanda continues to say that surely no child would play a boring game like that and that I must be hitting her. She then says, don't worry, I used to spank my kids too. It works really well and at least one of them came out great. The other one got ruined by his father. No shame in hitting your child when they need to be set straight. This is where I might be the asshole. I answered with, I don't hit my child, I parent my child. I teach her things. Not everyone is like you, and some people actually care about the well-being and mental state of their children. Some people do not have to hurt kids to feel in control. Of course, this was the exact moment where my daughter was no longer talking to my mom, and so my mom heard what I said. Yolanda got up and left. The three of us finished our food, and I paid the bill. Later on, my mother called me and said I had to apologize to her. That what I said was way out of pocket, and that I painted Yolanda off to be a horrible mother that it was none of my business how she raised her kids and that I was cruel for saying the things I said. I explained to mom what Yolanda had said to me and that she made it my business, when she not only casually shared that she used to hit her children, but also accused me of hitting my own, especially in a public place where someone could overhear it and think it's true. My mom said I'm taking things out of proportion and that Yolanda just wanted to let me know that she understands how hard it is to be a single parent. I told my mom that I will not be apologizing, but that I will take an apology for her absurd and out-of-pocket comment. I then told mom that if she wants to stand by her friend, instead of being realistic and honest about the situation, she could join her and apologize to me too. Now dad says I'm an asshole too. NTA. She was pushing it and insinuating you hit your child. Someone could have overheard and reported you to CPS. I would stop hanging out with this woman and not apologize. That it was none of my business how she raised her kids. Funny, because she was the one being so pushy about wanting to know about how you raised yours and then pushing her imagine about how must raise yours onto you. As for your parents not taking your side, I would stop calling or texting them for a while. Them ganging up on you is meh. No need to being bullied into an apology. I agree. I expected my mother to be mad at her friend too after I'd explain what happened. Definitely hurt me that she still insisted I have to apologize. Shame that she also had to bring dad in it. Although he is probably just like, please apologize, she is driving me nuts face with ears of joy. I will talk to him about it though, because I feel like he might not know the whole story. Although he is probably just like, please apologize, she is driving me nuts. That's where I think he's coming from. Mind, the least he could have done was got your side of the story first. NTA. You don't need to apologize to Yolanda. S. She needs to apologize to her children. You told her the truth. It triggered her because she is already ashamed of herself, as she should be, but reluctant to admit it. You hear phrasing screams of, please tell me you also abuse your child so I can keep telling myself it's normal and I'm still a good person. This right here. She was looking for some kind of imaginary validation to feel like what she did to her kids was the right course of action. Opie is NTA and shouldn't apologize for the friend's own insecurities that they brought up themselves. Maybe it might have been a little too much but I also wouldn't like it if someone kept saying that I'm hitting my children for anything. Also, did you explain to your father in detail what happened, or did he just listen to your mother's version? He only heard mom's version. I hadn't even spoken to him. He just texted me saying I need to stop being an ass and apologize to both of them. 
I didn't respond to the text. He only heard mom's version. I hadn't even spoken to him. He just texted me saying I need to stop being an ass and apologize to both of them. I didn't respond to the text. And T.A., as someone who was a quiet kid and still got beaten for so much as wearing shorts, you're doing a great job. Normalize calling out shit parents that think beating a child counts as parenting. If you don't want to be called out for being a bad parent, don't brag about spanking. You are a bad parent if you resort to physical violence to parent. And T.A., Yolanda sounds crappy and honestly you don't owe her any more of your or your daughter's time. She's your mom's problem, ghost away from that awful lady. And T.A., Hitting your child isn't something that needs to be normalized all over again. It leaves long-lasting trauma. Whatever she has done in her time is between her and her children. However, if she is going to go around making up random stories about your parenting style, you are absolutely in the right putting her in her place. NTA. Hitting kids is terrible and straight-up bad parenting. It has a whole bunch of really staunch defenders for some reason. As your stories show, people even gleefully talk about it in a positive light. I wish more people were like you, and made people like this feel embarrassed. NTA. Don't expect people who've abused or stood by and enabled abuse to apologize for it. More often than not they will double down because if they apologize, they have to admit it only to you but themselves that they did something wrong. This is especially true when they come from a time when corporal punishment was widely accepted and they grew up experiencing it. Don't apologize. You responded directly to an untrue accusation and refused to abet abusive behavior. If they continue to press, tell them that they may have never ended a generational cycle of aggression and abuse, but you are, and they can respect that, or they can continue to try to undermine you. You live them, but you will not cave on this subject, and they are wasting their time continuing to press. In TA, I used to work in a daycare guess which kids were the most well-behaved and loving. Not the kids that got hooped every day. The kids that got hit daily would then in turn hurt others when they got frustrated instead of talking it out because they were taught that violence is how you deal with problems. The kids that were spoken to like humans and not treated like animals were kind and not developmentally stunted. I've met too many adults who claim that they were hit and they turned out fine. Guess what they were not in fact fine. Proud of you for standing up for yourself and shutting down her bull.